let's start building our program and let's build a full name variable using string concatenation. Name variable, and we'll just name that first. And we'll set that to Alton. And if we run that, it goes in memory and we can't see it, but we can check to see if it's there. And just echo it to the screen. And we see that Alton is the value of first. And then I'm going to add a last name as well, last, and I'll put DeRosa on there. We can run those both, make sure they're in memory, and check what's in last. And we see DeRosa's in there. But now I want to do a full name variable. So in order to create a full name, I'm going to concatenate the strings first and last. And so now the full name holds both of them together. But we have a problem. We note that the two names are just touching each other and I don't really want them running into each other. So I need to add a space in here. With string concatenation, remember, we can concatenate many strings in here. So in order to add a space in, we actually put a keyboard space character in between quotes, and then we can use the addition character and concatenate those. And now, the name is Alton DeRosa. I have my space in there, and that's nicely formatted. You could see also where we might want to reverse that order and make it last first. And with that, it's very common to put a comma in there with a space after it. And we can put that into the full name and echo it to the screen and see that we could also format it in a reverse order. So we're, what we've seen here is that we can add two variables together that are containing strings to create another string and put those into a third variable, which we could use for our full name variable.